back shop rats. Today we begin the process of joining this uh, shifter tunnel that we made last time for the four speed to the floor pans that we made about six months ago that we haven't been able to get done because we were waiting to get this done which was waiting on the tail shaft for the four speed transmission and the shifter and the shift rods and, and just all kinds of other stuff. And while you're here go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell. We would really appreciate that. Uh, we'd love to have you join us here in our My Car Shop community. So let's watch the show intro. I'll see you in 20 seconds. I'm Mike and this this is my car shop. Working out of a 100 year old refurbished barn, bringing 35 years of experience to projects considered beyond repair. Vision, creativity, and problem solving are essential tools in this place. Watch as we transform junk into polished metal miracles. This is my car's shop. So our objective today is to get the um, four-speed hump fitted and mated to the floor pieces that we've made that go in here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is get a dimension on um, from here, which you probably can't see, but from yeah from here over to there, so we know exactly how wide these floor pieces need to be. So uh, that's the first step here. That looks like that's about 24 and an eighth there. And let's come forward a little bit, uh, 23 and a half. So yeah, I guess that makes sense because we are at yeah, 23 and a half there and 24 and an eighth there. So now we can take this out, put this floor piece back in, get some dimensions from here over and know where we have to cut this floor pan off to begin the process of mating this four speed tunnel um, to, the, uh, to the floor pan. Remember that my goal here is I want to make this thing so it's removable, um, so that if I need to access anything in there down the road, it just makes it a lot easier, and that makes sense. Uh, there was some concern and some uh, some well, some concerns expressed about the strength of the vehicle being as I'm taking out, you know, basically part of the tunnel and not welding it back in. But remember, we've got these subframe connectors in here, so. I'm not really concerned about the strength of the vehicle down the middle, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Our rocker panels are in great shape, and we have more than enough strength here with these two 2x3x8-inch uh, two by by wall box frame connectors that we've put in, or subframe connectors. All right, first step is I've got all this traced out now. I uh, measured it, dimensioned it, and then I also set the four-speed hump kind of down on top and just made sure that everything was good. And I'm glad I did because you can see up here, this line I had drawn straight, but it actually needs to go that way because of this angle here. So um, just a couple of thoughts I want to share with you on this process uh, as we move forward here. There is a line between you need to just dive in and do it versus you need to spend some time thinking. And I was just talking to Becky about this. We had to make a road trip this morning. And uh, it's much later in the day being out here than I'm normally planned. But anyway, um, that wasn't the point. There are times you just got to dive in and do it. And there are other times you got to kind of step back and just think about what needs to happen next. And that's kind of what happened. So um, I happened to have built the four-speed hump yesterday, and you would have seen that on Friday's episode. This should be a Sunday episode right now if I've got my schedule straight. And uh, as I got done with that, I'm thinking, okay, now how do I marry that to the floor while still making it removable? And I realized what I needed to do, the first step, and that maybe as far as we can go today, I don't know, but the first step we need to do is get this so that we can have this floor pan in its proper location and then drop this four-speed hump that we made down in there. And I think once those are all clicoed in place, we can the car up on its side 
And I think it's going to be pretty intuitive at that point how we marry those two together. I got some ideas, but I got to really see it in place before I can make that decision. So, you know, had I made a bunch of these before, of course, it'd be a no-brainer. But I'm kind of figuring out as we go, and I'm going to make mistakes. And, of course, it's metal, so making mistakes in metal really isn't that big a deal. But I want to try to minimize that. So, um, so this is kind of the way I laid this out here. And I was just trying to decide uh, what's the best way to cut this, whether I want to do it with the plasma cutter uh, or if I'm going to do it with the, uh, the cutoff wheel. I'm leaning towards the plasma cutter, and I'm just going to find a short piece of steel to use as a guideline so that I can just whist, 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 as we go along. I'm also not taking this out. I'm leaving it right in place. I've got it clico down in several places. It's pretty close to where it needs to be. Um, so once I got it cut, and then get the center hump clean coat in. We'll see where we go from there. Let's find out if we're cut okay. Oops. ourselves plenty of room I don't know how I miscalculated but I did cut it about a half inch too much and that's okay it's not a bad thing but it's fine okay boy I really do not know how I screwed that up like that and it's not that it's screwed up like I said I, I kind of have a plan here about what I'm going to do anyway so this is going to work just fine but it's just surprising to me that I left myself that big of a gap so um, it's actually going to work really well I'm going to start making some L pieces to go between here and here um, just like this and then there'll be screws or bolts or something that go through to hold that hump in and once this is all kind of fitted in place um, we'll be able to just buzz off the bottom of this and we should be good to go so it'll all fit together good it's not that it's outside of the plan of what I had I just had hoped that was going to be a little bit tighter so uh, but that's probably in some ways it's probably advantageous that I did cut that a little bit too short, but I still can't figure out how the heck I did that. Part of the reason we share everything in detail is so you can learn from my mistakes. So here's what happened. I figured it out. I measured across from here, and that was 24 and an eighth, like I said. Problem is, when you dip this down, the angle changes, and it changes that length. And then I ended up cutting it a little bit long anyway, so uh, I ended up cutting this at like 24. Well, actually, you know what? 24 and an eighth is, is pretty much right there. So that's what it was, was it's the angle from here to here. And I should have known that. Um, just that little bit of change in angle. Moved that out about a half an inch. So my bad. Learn from my mistake on that one. So you can kind of see you're kind of hitting what I'm pitching there now. Um, where I'm just making little L pieces to go down through there. And yeah, there's some detail work to be done, but right now my goal is to just work my way down along here and get that put in there. And then I will probably drill holes through here and weld nuts on the back side of the console or the, why do we keep calling it a console? The four speed hump and it will bolt in there and I'll do that all the way around with weld nuts on the back side. And I think that'll be a pretty slick way to do it. So. There's going to be a few spots of details to figure out, but 
this is a big step forward because this is really thrusting me forward on finishing this floor pan on this side. And, uh, you know, that's going to look pretty cool when all of this is done over here and we have, you know, just a lot of floor pan put in the car. So uh, one more small step forward here. So we'll continue on making these little pieces as we go along here. We got another piece done. Now we can get another one done from here down to there. So little by little. We got a little weird thing going on there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that yet. Um, just it's humped up for some reason. I'm guessing that, that uh, there's a little buckle in the floor. But I think once we get the floor out of here and uh, we can hammer and dolly some things back together again, I think we'll be okay. So... Yeah, it's uh, it's progress. Got another piece in there. We've been doing a little bit of shrinking and stretching along that to just kind of get that to match the curvature. Obviously, we've got a lot more work to do to get that all done. It needs a bunch of trimming on the back, but uh, now we get into the tricky, tricky stuff here. And uh, yeah, I'm just not sure how I want to proceed here. I think we'll make a short one to go right there. And then maybe we'll fill that in later. I'm not sure yet. And then maybe one back here. So, but you can see kind of how we're going along here doing this anyway. So uh, it's tedious, but it's got to be done one little bite at a time. The tedium of this stuff uh, will drive you nuts, but it's important to get it done. So uh, what I'm doing is making these little L pieces, and I got to clear a cleco there. So. Uh, eventually I'll trim this stuff off on the other side. I might even do a cutting butt on it. I probably will. Just getting things fit in here. Where they belong. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, that actually fits quite nicely now. I will probably put some kind of a thin rubber gasket foam something in between this also. I obviously have floor pan work to do here yet to get this joint to this, this joint to the car. And, you know, we kind of put all this on hold. Oh, when did I build this stuff? Oh, six months ago. Um, I smell something burning. Uh, anyway, um, I was surprised when I went back and looked that it was only a year ago that we put this car on the rotisserie. I'm quite pleased uh, with how this is going and how this is coming along. I feel like it's been on here a lot longer than that. Well, there we go. So we've got from here to here, we got a little piece to do there that I'm going to do when that's when the hump is gone and, and it's out of the car. And I'm, I'll do that when I go to finish the quarter pan or the the quarter panel. Yeah, right. The floor pan. And so we've got all but that little bit done there. Of course, we've got some hump work to do here, and we will incorporate our union pieces around the back when we do that. So what I'm seeing is a couple of sessions, one to get that done, one to get this done, and then it's going to be a couple of episodes to get this floor pan finished up. But we have made huge, huge progress on this. I didn't have a lot of time today. Again, this weekend's been busy. It seems like Man, it just seems like life keeps getting busier and busier. I keep thinking I should back down on episodes, but, um, well, you know, um, how do I put this in terms that's PG-13 for YouTube? My buddy Dave was just texting me and saying how much I got done, and I said, well, I probably wouldn't have gotten it all done if I wasn't uh, owned by YouTube, and I don't want to use the B word, but you know what I'm saying, you know? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like YouTube owns me, but not really, you know? It's, it's, it's what I've said all along. It's... 
YouTube keeps me working on the projects. The crop projects keep me working on YouTube, and that relationship between the two is why I keep moving forward. So at this point, I don't have any plans to drop back to more less than three episodes a week. As you know, we put out episodes every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 o'clock in the morning. We're over on the face thing. We're over on the instant grandma. She loves us. She gives us cookies. We're here on the you thing. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go over to the community tab, make some comments, uh, you know, there's surveys. Survey set. What kind of stuff over there so you can join in the discussion and in the community. Thank you guys so much. Gals too. For all you do to continue to help the channel to grow. Uh, it's really an exciting time to be a part of my car shop right now. Oh, I almost forgot. It's important. Rah!